Hello, this is your special education virtual content specialist here with the 7th grade lesson for March 15th. As with all lessons and resources, they can be found in Teach Hub. And for teachers, we provide each lesson's title, focus question, learning objective, standards, and objectives. Additionally, we provide guidance for using this resource, including instructional and technology guidance, implementation guidance for this lesson, guidance for summarizing, guidance for assessment during instruction, and general methods for engaging with students with disabilities and multilingual learners. Let's begin. Seventh graders will be in Unit 7, Angles, Triangles, and Prisms, Day 11, Building Polygons, Part 1. How do we determine if shapes are identical copies of each other? Below are examples of shapes called polygons. A polygon is a closed shape with straight sides. What are the differences between the shapes? So students should be able to notice that some of the shapes have only three sides and some of the shapes only have four sides. Additionally, you can ask them to look at the angles and for higher learners, you can introduce them to the term vertex or vertices. And notice that some shapes have three angles, some have four, or some shapes have three vertices and some shapes have four. Here's where explicit instruction begins. Below are examples of shapes called polygons. Again, a polygon is a closed shape with straight sides. Polygons with three straight sides and three angles are called triangles. Polygons with four straight sides and four angles are called quadrilaterals. And you might want to let students know that they know that there are different types of triangles and different types of quadrilaterals and that this will be discussed at a later time. The Explorer is going to have students building their own polygons and so students are going to use the segments in the applet to build one triangle and one quadrilateral. It is important to model this with the students because even as an adult working with the applet, it can be difficult if you try moving it from anywhere that's not the green circle for move, it will move the whole applet page. Additionally, if you try turning it from anywhere besides the turn point, again, it will move the whole applet page rather than get the desired effect. So it's important to show students that if they want to move the specific line that they click from the green circle and if they want to change the angle of it, aka turn, that they have to click from the yellow circle. Additionally, it would be important to show students how to name the points of the quadrilateral and triangle by clicking on the ABC and moving the letter to the point. And if they want to measure the angles to select the protractor icon. Additionally, um, students might be confused as to what the numbers represent and the numbers represent the side lengths. So you can demonstrate for students a three by three by four triangle as an example. So after you demonstrate for students how to build polygons in the applet, you're going to let students go ahead and let them build their own polygons. Again, we've already done a three by three by four. And so you can show students your example. That way they don't rep repeat it. So now students have experience with the applet, and now they're going to listen to directions. And so they are told that Diego is building a quadrilateral with side lengths of 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches, and 9 inches. Students need to build the shape. 
and draw it below. What are the angle measurements of the shape you have created? And this is a time to remind students that a quadrilateral has four angles. And so their answer for part B needs four different angle measurements or rather four angle measurements. Additionally, you might want to make a mini checklist for students. That way they can include all the portions that they need. So they need one four, they need one five inch, they need one six inch, and they need one nine inch. They are going to repeat it, except now the situation is Jada built a triangle using side lengths of four inches, five inches, and eight inches. Build the shape, draw below. What are the angle measurements of the shape you have created? Again, you might want to support students by saying that since it's a triangle, it has three angle measurements, and you might want to provide them with a mini checklist so they include the four inch, the five inch, and the eight inch. Now students are going to see what Diego's quadrilateral and Jada's triangle look like. And so some of your students might be surprised and many of them might say that they did not expect Jada's and Diego's shapes to look like that. Or they might say, we expected Jada's triangle to look like that, but not Diego's quadrilateral. Here for number two, which shapes did you make an identical copy of? It is possible that they made an identical copy of Jada's triangle, but possibly not for Diego's quadrilateral. And for number three, they're gonna examine their drawing of Diego's shape and Diego's quadrilateral. Why do you think you did not make an identical copy of Diego's shape? Students may realize that there were different angles that they could use to make the quadrilaterals these side lanes, and that's why it's not an identical copy of Diego's quadrilateral. And for Jada's triangle, there's no way to change the angles to make a different triangle with those particular side lanes. Students can do the cool down instead of repeating the summary question twice. And for the summary question, it is how do we determine if shapes are identical copies of each other? And here you're going to support students with a sentence starter. For additional practice, students who are struggling can do I Excel 7th grade skill W.1. Median level learners can work on the practice problems in Teach Hub, and for high level learners, they can work on the Engage New York Module 6 Lesson 5 problem set. As with all resources, here are the citations, and you can find further support at Illustrative Mathematics and Open Up Resources.